Jury selection in the Joseph Duncan case is still on hold, but the legal wheels are turning. Yesterday, prosecutors in Boise filed a motion requesting the courtroom be closed to the public and the media for key points of Duncan's sentencing. KXLY 4's Melissa Luck is here with us now. And Melissa, this is actually in response to a media request. That's right. We told you about this a couple of weeks ago. KXLY joined all of the other local media in the region asking that the judge not close the courtroom when Shasta Groney testifies and other key points of this trial. We absolutely do not want to invade this little girl's privacy. We don't want to humiliate her in any way. But we do believe this is part of the public's right to know what happens in this very high-profile federal death penalty case. Now, we also learned through this filing that prosecutors could show the jury an extremely graphic video that Duncan shot inside this cabin in Montana. The cabin is a few miles up the mountain from where Duncan held the Grody children captive in 2005. Sources close to the investigation say the video is extremely disturbing and shows Dylan Grony being abused. Prosecutors want the media and the public out of the courtroom when they show that video, but they will or they are expected to ask jurors to watch it. An advocate appointed to help Shasta through the court process agrees with the prosecution here that the courtroom should be closed for Shasta's testimony specifically, uh, but it's also up to the judge to make the ultimate decision there. Okay, and we don't know when the judge will make that decision or even when jury selection will resume. Yeah, things kind of came to a screeching halt. Uh, it's been about a week and a half now mm -hmm. since Duncan said he wanted to get rid of his attorneys, represent himself. The judge said you need to go through a mental evaluation first. As far as we know, that's still going on because jury selection has not resumed, so a lot in this case is on hold right now. All right, Melissa, thanks.